Jason at Access Health. I'm going to show you three signs to help you determine at home if you could have a cervical disc herniation. So number one, um, this is called arm abduction sign. So if you're having neck pain and you're concerned about cervical disc herniation, if you lift your arm and you get over this kind of 90 degrees and you get up here above your head and it actually relieves some of your discomfort, that's actually not a good sign um, because we frequently see that in patients that have a cervical disc herniation or bulge or displacement of some sort. So just lift your arm up over 90 degrees, see does it feel significantly better. The second one is does your neck pain or any pain around your neck that could be radiating or referred pain get worse when you cough or you sneeze or you bear down? So. This is super easy, just take a big deep breath and bear down, sort of like you're going to the bathroom or you can try coughing. <laughs> Not a good thing to do right now with uh, coronavirus, so do it at home by yourself. Um, and most people can't make themselves sneeze, but if you do notice that it's a lot worse when you sneeze, that pressure inside your body that you create when you do those actions can irritate a cervical disc displacement. The last one that you can do at home is to see if you have directional preference, which means that your pain gets a lot worse moving one certain direction and sort of decreases or centralizes or goes towards the spine and kind of localizes to a smaller area when you move your head in a certain direction. So the two most common directions that you want to try are looking down, which is cervical flexion here, and looking up towards the ceiling. So typically you want to move into one of those directions for probably 10 or 15 times and see if it makes it better. If it makes it worse, then don't continue doing it because you're probably just gonna irritate it. The other two directions that you can try are moving your head into lateral flexion, which means just bending your ear to your shoulder like this so if that seems to feel okay for you, but you still have the pain, you can repeat moving your head into that direction 10 to 15 times and seeing as you do that, does it centralize or come closer towards the spine? So if you have any of these three or you have at least two of the three, it should kind of raise your suspicion at home that it could be a cervical disc displacement of some sort that's bothering you and I typically would advise if it was a family member or a friend or something that you should go to a chiropractor or a PT or a medical doctor and get a good exam on it because there's a lot of other stuff that can show up with this and there's a lot more tests that we can do just from a physical exam standpoint that doesn't include x-rays, it doesn't include MRI, the expensive scary stuff. Most of these things we can kind of figure out by doing just physical tests in the office. And then if you don't have a lot of um, really significant radiating type pain or progressive weakness or other disabilities, the good news is that a lot of these things can improve with what's called conservative care, which would be chiropractic or PT or non-surgical, non-injectable type treatments. So, Keep your head up with that, but go ahead and try these three tests at home. And if you have any questions or you have any comments about it, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And thanks for watching.